Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And Google has released a preview of the new update to Android Oreo, and that's Android 8.1 Oreo. Now I do have it installed on one of my phones, so I'm gonna go ahead and show it off to you guys. The update actually brings some new features along with some from the new Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. I will also be doing future videos on Android 8.1 and future Android updates as well, so be sure to click that subscribe button. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a close look at the preview of Android 8.1 Oreo. To begin, I have the Android 8.1 Oreo preview installed on my Google Pixel, and it does include some new features that have already been there on the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL, one of them being that persistent search bar down at the bottom of your home launcher. So if you tap on it, you can do a quick Google search. It is always there. If I swipe up to my app drawer, you'll notice it goes away. And of course, I wanna show you that I am on the Android 8.1 preview. So if I go into system, about, there it is, Android version 8.1, and they've added a new Easter egg if you quickly tap on it. This is more of an official Android Oreo Easter egg because of course there's actually an Oreo in it. Uh, let's see what happens if I press and hold on it. I'm actually not too sure what happens here. I haven't tried this part yet. And brings up that octopus. So that octopus is still there. Uh, but that original uh, Oreo screen actually got an update. While in settings, I noticed a couple things. First of all, the search settings bar looks a little bit different. It's a complete bar up at the top. And then if you go into system settings, those gestures are there. And, and this is specifically for the Pixel. I don't think the Pixel 2 has this option, but this is where you can command those specific gestures. And interestingly enough, the nav bar buttons down at the bottom got a bit of an update uh, and they will actually dim. So you'll see if you, no matter what screen you're on, if you actually don't use them, you'll see they get a little bit more dim. And if I tap on it, it gets a little bit brighter and you'll see on the home screen, it will dim again. So if I use them again, I'll give you a bit of a close up here. Just watch, they dim. And of course that is dependent on how long after you press one of the buttons, you'll see they dimmed again. We have some more features from the Pixel 2 that are now in Android 8.1. So if I press and hold that power button, there's a new menu of power and restart, which I really like because I can just press it and then just use my thumb to tap power off or restart. And also the backdrop of not only your app drawer, you'll see here, but also the quick settings got a bit of an update. Now, first of all, these quick this quick settings panel is actually transparent, believe it or not, just slightly. You'll see those app icons down through the quick, uh, quick settings panel and that will change. So let's take a look at what happens when I change the wallpaper. So jumping into wallpapers, I wanna go ahead and use a darker one because it will uh, be obvious when it will change. I'm gonna set wallpaper. So here's our new wallpaper. Now take a look at our quick settings panel. It changed. You will see it is still transparent. However, it is dark now. So if you do want more of a dark theme to your quick settings and the backdrop of your app drawer, you'll see that is completely dark as well you can just change your live wallpaper or whatever your st static wallpaper as well to a darker color one more option let's go ahead and set it back to but take a look at that google search bar while i change this i'm going to go ahead and choose a, uh, a definitely a white colored one i'm going to set it and there we go so you'll see that g goes dark uh, this is a little bit more of a lighter color and of course both of those other options get themed white and something worth mentioning, when connected to a device over Bluetooth, it will give you a battery percentage. It's really hard to see with this backdrop, actually. So maybe let me jump to a live wallpaper. It's a little bit lighter, so here we go. And you'll see next to that Bluetooth icon is that battery icon. So clearly I need to charge this speaker, uh, but nice that there's finally a battery indicator on your device. So that's everything I want to cover about the preview of the Android 8.1 Oreo update. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Be sure to click that subscribe button. I'll be doing lots more coverage on future Android updates. And that's pretty much it. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.